My name is Jamie Vaccaro. I'm the supervisor here at Zoo Tampa's Florida Mammals Department and the Manatee Critical Care Center. Today, I will be showing you around our Manatee Critical Care Center. Manatees are a marine mammal. Uh, the Florida manatee that we have here in our critical care center uh, live among Florida, native Florida waters. Um, and some great facts about manatees are one, they're an amazing, uh, beautiful, majestic animal that live here in Florida. They're very slow moving. A uh, cool fact about manatees is they have marching molars. Uh, marching molars are for a manatee, means they can replace their teeth throughout their entire lifetime. They eat a lot of abrasive uh, plants and aquatic plants out in the wild. So as their teeth wear down, their teeth march forward, fall out, and they grow new ones. And that's something they can replace their entire life. Our critical care center opened in 1991. Uh, since that time, we've taken in over 400 manatees. We are an on-call, all the time manatee hospital. So we take in sick, injured, and orphaned manatees. Our goal is to rehabilitate them and get them back out into Florida waters as soon as possible. For rescuing of a manatee, we typically get a call from Florida Fish and Wildlife. Um, a lot of people that may live on the water or be out or are out on the waterways may notice that a manatee is sick, injured, or in distress. They'll call that in to Florida Fish and Wildlife. Fish and Wildlife will go out and try to find the manatee. Sometimes that's pretty difficult. Manatees are very resilient animals, and even though they're injured, they'll kind of keep moving. So Fish and Wildlife have to locate that animal, and then they'll deem whether it needs medical attention. If it does, it'll come to one of four critical care centers here in the state of Florida. Depending on its location, it may come here if they do need, if it does need help. Once it arrives here, we'll kind of assess its situation <clears throat> and what it needs. Our vet team will come down, we'll do a lot of medical treatments and then place it into one of our critical care pools. Our everyday duties here at the hospital can be everything from observation, a lot of husbandry, so feeding um, our manatees. We're very hands-off here at our critical care center. All the manatees that we come that come here to our hospital are sick, injured, or orphaned, so we don't hand feed any of our animals. The only hands-on that we do with them is during medical treatments, and that's just to set them back up for success when they go back into the wild. We typically see manatees coming into our hospital for five different reasons. Uh, there can be several more of those, but the most common that we see are boat strike, is a lot of what people think about. But not just the propeller injuring the manatee, a lot of it is blunt trauma. So the impact of a watercraft going across a manatee's back can cause severe damage, not only to their ribs, uh, but it can puncture their lung. And that causes kind of their lung to collapse and all the air to go into their chest cavity and they look like a balloon floating on top of the water. Uh, so boat strike is definitely the most common. We do see orphans on occasion. We do have several orphans here at our uh, center right now. Uh, we'll see cold stress, which is a lot like frostbite for manatees. People look at a manatee and think they're such a large animal, they must be made of a lot of fat and blubber like whales and dolphins, but they're not. They're very cold and tolerant species. That's why they live here in Florida and a lot of the tropical areas. They have to maintain in temperature water or water in temperatures of about 68 degrees or higher. So they are a migratory species. They do find warmer water in the winter months, and that's something really important that they learn from their mom. To find out some more information on manatees, you can definitely visit our website at Zoo Tampa. You'll find a lot of information, not just about manatees, but other species and how to live here with them in the Florida waters.